Hello, Mickey. Uh, this is the practitioner, uh, bachelor of science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, amateur magician, parapsych researcher, and technical, agno uh, technical agnostic and Fortean skeptic. Um, I should clarify my definition of Fortean skeptic, uh, meaning that um, I just I try to I tend to hyperanalyze everything, um, all evidence that comes up on a particular issue. But anyway, I digress. That is not pertinent to this particular issue. Um, I was watching your video, uh, which said, "Are you a sandwich?" And um, I was actually a little um, unclear on a couple of points in there. Um, I just I wanted to get some clarification. Um, I understand the I understand the line of reasoning where you're basically saying uh, where the sandwich um, by by trying to say like, "Are you a sandwich?" Like, trying to avoid people the comparison to that. My my question is, why did you have someone eat the sandwich and the sandwich scream after they said there is a god? Um, now. Maybe I'm misinterpreting, um, and again, I'm just, uh, I should mention before I go on about this, um, in a large chunk of my other videos when I'm not debunking paranormal phenomena or uh, going on about cosmocracy or trying to, uh, you know, do one sort of a thing or another, the bulk of what, I, uh, the bulk of what my videos comprise of is um, trying to help uh, skeptics um, improve their argument style, uh, if you will, help skeptics and atheists improve, uh, improve their arguments, i.e., you know, Get rid of any, uh, uh, get rid of any, uh, uh, weaken uh, any, uh, you know, weak supporting points towards their arguments or you know unnecessary um, elements. So, I guess my concern is when I'm watching this, I'm trying to understand what you, uh, what the input. Now, maybe sometimes just eating a sandwich is just eating a sandwich. Perhaps that's the case. Uh, if you could leave a comment and let me know, uh, that'd be very much appreciated. But um, from, now, I'm just going to tell you the way it looked to me. Uh, again, I genuinely don't know what you were attempting to uh, convey by the video but um, the concept that came across is that um, is that you had uh, is that you had the sandwich being made for a specific purpose and then saying uh, the people uh, you know saying the universe uh, must have been uh, you know bet it was that guy over there made me for a specific purpose um, uh, therefore you know the universe is uh, exists too uh, it was made there was a god and then when the person getting eaten I'm assuming that you're saying that the um, that the purpose of the sandwich is to be eaten, and therefore, uh, by questioning if you are a sandwich, um, that uh, there is no purpose for your existence. Uh, thing, of course, is though, is that the whole concept of purpose or anything like that is again a debatable concept, and that the first thing and the second analogy, which I don't know if you were intending to imply, but this is what came across to me, is that um, by having um, by saying that the that the sandwich believed in a person. Uh, you know, and being made for a purpose, that believing in that meant that, you know, its purpose was to be eaten, um, that there would be a similar purpose, i.e., of killing people or of being eaten or of basically of that the belief of us to be made, you know, if there were a God being in existence would be some sort of God out to kill us. Um, I've argued in other videos on this point. Uh, now, the thing is, um, I wouldn't really give much. I wouldn't really worry about this much, were it not for the fact that I've seen this argument before um, in Richard Dawkins' book as saying, uh, uh, "Sorry, um, I read an excerpt a while back from the God Delusion, and one of the things which it was saying was the idea that religion was the only possible cause for the terrorists having um, committed their 9/11 incidents." Well, the thing, of course, is though, is that um, that religious viewpoint of here's here's the funny thing, and I'll, I'll, I'll and uh, this is the odd bit. Um, misinterpretation of religious viewpoints or of any viewpoint whatsoever has always, uh, you know, twisting twisting what people say to fit your own uh, agenda has been has been completely through has been known throughout history, uh, both in terms of philosophical and religious ideas. So to say religion is the cause of the evil when um, the book. Uh, when the Quran quite clearly states, now I'm not a Muslim, I should say I'm an agnostic, I'm just simply stating this. Uh, the Quran quite clearly states in chapter 3, thou shalt not murder thy fellow believer. Um, it also says in chapter 4, it does not matter whether you are a Jew, a Christian, or a Muslim to be a believer. All you have to do is believe in God in the day of judgment. Now, uh, when they're talking about killing the infidel, they're talking about killing the unbeliever. So by those quotes, a Christian would fall under a believer context. Now, Secular humanism or, uh, or Christianity aside, for the 9/11 incident to um, for the um, for 9/11 to the thing is that the West, nominally at least according to Islamics, would be Christian. So for the o the only way that the Muslims 
could uh, could create a an impression that um, could get the impression that we are the infidels or that we are unbelievers is because of economic disparities that, that the Western world might have created or other things which might have influenced them to think that we fall into that infidel category. Um, another example uh, of this same argument as to why religion uh, or belief in religion is, uh, sorry, rephrase that, why religion itself is not inherently uh, out to kill people is um, the fact that this, uh, or another, uh, if you will, another uh, example of, um, of interpretation of ideology causing problems is uh, communist states. Um, and this is where my point about ideologies, uh, about interpretation of ideology being the problem. Marx in the, in the Capital, in the Communist Manifesto and uh, in a couple of his other writings, when he talked about, um, when he talked about um, trying to be free, he talked about emancipating oneself through a social change from religion, from, uh, you know, and trying to more commonly, you know, from capitalist systems, from any form of oppression. And the whole concept of the government or the state, if you will, in uh, in communist in the Communist Manifesto, was supposed to be a temporary. Note that I said, uh, you know, after a social change from a industrial globalized world, uh, we were supposed to move to a social slash communist based system. And the um, type of government that was predicted or was suggested was supposed to be a temporary state that was just supposed to help people transition over to get used to the new idea, not uh, anything that was supposed to be in for long term. But what happened from that? We have Russia. Cuba, China, and actually no, Cuba uh, managed to avoid some of that, but, um, uh, but Russia and China in particular um, both did rural-based revolutions, and they misinterpreted, uh, the, they misinterpreted a huge amount of Marxist ideals to the point where um, they, were supposed to, they were supposed to go away from religion, not persecute people for their uh, beliefs in religion or anything that was contrary to the Communist Manifesto. They didn't say they did. They didn't. Marx said nothing about trying to kill people for their ideology. They were talking about a revolution to overthrow oppression. So a totalitarian dictatorship, which comes in and then starts, via, you know, causing human rights violations uh, in the name of communism or Marxism, is a misinterpretation of ideology. Does that mean that Marxism can be blamed for human rights violations? Uh, that that Marx's uh, philosophy and communism overall are the cause of those human rights violations? No. Nor would it be equally so to, uh, to say so for religion to be doing that. Um, to, for people to say that the Old Testament is automatically the basis of Christianity, or to say, like, uh, you know, I brought the sword, a lot of that is quoting people out of context. There are other verses equally which say that, um, let he who is without sin cast the first stone. But since everyone's with sin, you can't cast a stone, literally or figuratively. Um, love one another as I have loved you. That's another example right there. Um, Jesus didn't kill anybody. Um, uh, according to the Bible, uh, therefore we shouldn't either. Um, Islam, again, you know, uh, Jew, Christian, or Muslim. Um, another thing is if you take a look at what actually is stated in terms of uh, women's rights, yes, they do say women uh, are worth, uh, you know, two women are worth one man in terms of testimony. However, women are permitted to divorce if a man actually beats them up. Men are not supposed to beat women, and they're not supposed to, you know, women, even though they're treated second class, a lot of the extremist Islam uh, techniques like female genital mutilation and stuff like that are specifically forbidden in the Quran. You know, so the, the whole point is that, um, you know, systems got misinterpreted, and I'm, I guess my concern is the analogy which appears to be here is that if you believe in God, you're going to automatically get toasted or what have you. Um, you know, it seems more like almost a, uh, uh, an attack on religion, um, kind of bordering uh, almost the sort of... Uh, I'm not going to say it's like fundamentalism, but what I am going to say is that it, is, it appears to be the, uh, the same sort of arguing style that certain fundamentalists might have used, but it's a little bit more subtle. Now, anyway, that's just how it's coming across towards me. Um, pre uh, please do tell me uh, what the video was actually supposed to mean, because I'm probably misinterpreting you completely off the bat. And I'm an agnostic myself, so uh, again, I don't believe in God either. Um, and like I said, I agree with your overall goal. It's just my concern is that um, if you are attempting to convey what I thought you were conveying, um, using bad arguing tactics when trying to argue with religious people uh, might give them ammo to um, further promote the, uh, the myth that uh, atheism is a religion when in fact it's not. Or to say that it's illogical and to say that their system is the true logic or something like that. You see where we're going with this? It, you know, it might provide them more ammo. We're already trying to debunk religion. Let's not give them any more ammo than we need to, huh? Anyway, that's just my thoughts on it. I may be completely misinterpreting what you're saying. Uh, it's a good video, though, and keep up the good work. Toodles!